Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a fun little video for you today. This is going to be drugstore favorites. And I'm doing this as a collab with my friend Summer from Les Musings of Moi. I love her channel name, it's so cute. Summer is so sweet. She's beautiful, she has a great personality, she's just a sweet person, and she has an awesome channel. She does beauty videos, but she also does like lifestyle kind of videos, and she's really into natural products. So she does like Vitacost hauls and just talks about natural sort of things, which I really, really like. So she does kind of just different things. It's a little out of the norm. Like she does the fun beauty videos, but she also does fun and different things as well. So that's why I really love her channel. Um, so we were talking about our collab and she mentioned drugstore favorites and I loved that idea because I love drugstore products. Um, I picked all makeup products for my video because if I would have done other stuff other than that, in addition to my makeup stuff, we would have been here forever. <laughs> And because I had a hard time narrowing it down and I still have a ton of stuff to tell you about and there are more things that I wish I could have included but again we would have been here all day so I may not be able to swatch everything but I'm gonna try so we'll see um, so anyway after you watch my video you definitely should go check out summer she is so sweet I know you're gonna love her and I know she's gonna have some great favorites for you so I will link everything down below for you so you can go check her out but yeah if you want to see what my favorites are then just keep watching Okay, starting with foundation, I picked the one that I grab for the most as far as my drugstore foundation. Um, my all-time favorite foundation is Estee Lauder Double Wear. But from the drugstore, it would be the Almay TLC Truly Lasting Color 16 Hour Makeup. I just really like this. Um, it's a very thick, full coverage foundation, but it doesn't feel gross or heavy on your skin, at least I don't feel like it does and I feel like it's a good um, in the middle sort of foundation where my skin doesn't look dry and like flaky and weird because my skin's it's very oily in certain spots but it's also kind of dry and strange in some places so it's pretty much combo and I feel like this one is just really good that it doesn't look weird and flaky and stuff on the dry areas, but it doesn't make me oily. Um, it lasts really well on my skin. Now, if you don't like full coverage, you probably won't like this because it's hard to sheer it out because it's pretty full coverage, but it's just a great foundation. doesn't break me out, um, doesn't bother my skin. It's just a good one. Okay, for concealers, I picked two that I use every single day in addition to my MAC Pro Longwear. And I've worn this combo for months and months, and I love it. So I always start with my Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. I wear it in ivory. Uh, the Almay Foundation, I mix the first three. I just, I don't match any of them perfectly, so I kind of have to mix it around to get my perfect shade. But in this, I wear ivory. I love it. It's very brightening, and it just, it's very, it has really good coverage. So this does a lot of the work, so I love this. Then next I use the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circles, and I wear this one in light. And I, for me, I can't wipe it on. It doesn't work to wipe it on, so I kind of dab it on and then rub it in with my brush, um, which I also do with the Maybelline. And I just love it. Both of these together are great, and then I top them with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Amazing combo. Um, this one has a nice like thin formula, so it works really well to build it over something else. Um, so I've just found that this is my, like as of right now, holy grail concealer combo. I love them. Okay, for powder, this is a new favorite and I love this. It's the e.l.f. High Definition Powder and I got this in a recent sale. This is like $6 regular price. So if you get it on a sale, I got it for three, which is great. I have the um, Makeup Forever High Definition Powder and I think this is very comparable, if not a little bit better. In my opinion, I almost like this one a little bit more. It's just a great setting powder. This is in translucent, so it doesn't have any color or coverage really, but it's just great for setting your foundation and it just makes your skin look beautiful. The first time I used this, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, it just does a great job of taking away the shine. You know, if you don't like a matte finish, you may not like this, but I just really, really love it because it just seems like it just makes your skin look so beautiful, like just a beautiful canvas. Love this powder. Um, it comes with this little, you know, whatever that thing is. I don't use that. <laughs> I use a brush, um, but I just really like it. So if you haven't tried this, I hadn't tried this for a long time because I, honestly, I thought it was going to be poo. I didn't think I'd like it, but I really, really like it. It's very good. 
For bronzer, I have to go with my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. Um, this is one that probably everybody talks about, but this is just such a good bronzer. Like, this is the one that I might bounce around with different ones at the drugstore. Like, right now, I'm really loving the Sonia Kasha Cream Bronzer. That one's really good, too. But this is one that I just always go back to, and that's why I picked it, because it's just an old faithful. It's just tried and true. It's always going to work, um, and I use it for bronzing up my face, but also contouring. It's a matte bronzer, blends really well, wears really nicely. Honestly, I think this, in my opinion, behaves like a high-end bronzer. Like, no difference to me. I think it's top-notch. I love it. And it's like three bucks or something. So, um, you've probably heard about this because a lot of girls talk about it, but a lot of girls talk about it because it's really, really good. I love this. For highlighter, I have to go with this from Physicians Formula. And I have to say this because it's a really long name. This is the Shimmer Strips All-in-One Custom Nude Palette for Face and Eyes, and this is in Natural Nude. And it's kind of a collection of colors, so there's different little squares that make up the palette. So mine's kind of a little bit muddied together because I use it all the time, um, but it's more distinct when you first get it. So you can stay on the darker end and get a darker sort of a highlight, like more bronzy looking, or you can stay on the lighter end and get a lot lighter color. This is so pretty. Love this. This is one, I don't feel like the swatch really does it justice, but when I put it on my face is when I just like am singing to myself because it's so pretty. And it just blends really nicely on the skin. It's very easy to use, very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. You're gonna have this palette for a really long time. It's just so nice. I love this highlighter. For blushes, I picked out five favorites, and that was me really narrowing it down. <laughs> I feel like the drugstore has really like kicked it up a notch as far as blushes go recently because there's just been a lot of good ones coming out recently, whereas before I feel like you couldn't really find as many great blushes in the drugstore. So this was a hard category for me, and lips was the hardest. Lips I could have talked about for literally an hour because <laughs> there are so many things from the drugstore in the lip category that I love. But as far as blushes go, the first favorite would be the Maybelline Master Glaze by Face Studio Blush Sticks. These are great. They are super pigmented. Um, well, first off, the only negative is you don't get a lot. But like I was just saying, they're super pigmented, so you don't need a lot. So you're going to have this for a long time. I mean, that is super pigmented right there. This is Coral Sheen. The way I apply these is I use a small stipple brush, like a $3 one from e.l.f., and I will swipe my, my brush across the actual product and then apply it from using the brush rather than putting it on my face with the actual tube. I just feel like it works better that way. Um, but like I said, these are just beautifully pigmented. They blend really well for being a cream product. They wear really well. I use them as bases underneath other blushes, um, but I just really like them. I don't grab for them a ton because I kind of forget about them, but when I use them, I love them. So these are definitely a favorite. Next is my Milani Matte Baked Blush in Delicioso Pink. This is gorgeous. These are so nice. Um, I really like all the blushes from Milani, but especially the matte ones. These are just like crazy pigmented. Now they have this one and then kind of a reddish sort of a toned one. I think it's called Bella Rosa, but this one's my favorite just because it, it goes really well. It's, I can wear it with more looks is what I find. Um, so I just get more use out of it, but these blend really well. They wear really well. They are crazy pigmented. Just awesome. I mean, I have no complaints about this. So that one is a gorgeous blush. I also love the Jordana blushes. These are like, two or three dollars. This one is in Sunlit Bronze, and this is just a nice kind of tannish sort of a shade. It's a very neutral blush, but I find that I wear it pretty often. It's just one that I can wear with a bunch of different eye looks, and it's just easy. It just goes. So it's right up there. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, I think you can. 
just a really nice shade. It goes really well with everything. These are very nice. They have a ton of different shades. I have a haul video from months ago where I got a bunch of Jordana blushes. So if you want to watch that, I'll link it down below for you. Um, but that's definitely one that I grabbed for the most, which is interesting because when I bought it, I didn't think that I would really like this one that much. Um, but I do. I grab for it a lot. I love this one, Sunlit uh, Bronze, and then Rose Silk is another pretty one. It's kind of a pinky sort of a shade. Um, they're just really good. I had to order mine online because I can't ever find the blushes in any of my Walgreens. Um, but I think they have free shipping over like $20 or $25, so you could get a bunch of blushes in that order. <laughs> I've been really impressed with these blushes too from Maybelline. These are the Master Highlight by Face Studio Highlighting Blushes. This one is in Coral, but I really like most all of them that I own. Well, obviously I like all the ones I own, but all the ones I've purchased I've liked other than bronze was, it just didn't work for my skin tone. But this one's just really pretty. These are very glowy blushes. They're pretty in the pan, I just made them look made it look ugly because I smeared everything together, but they're just very glowy. Um, I keep saying this over and over because this is kind of a goal for what I, at least not a goal, but it's something I look for in, bl in blushes is that they blend really well and these blend really well. They're easy to work with. I hate high maintenance blushes that um, like drag and are patchy and just difficult to work with. I like ones that are easy and this is one of them. These are like mm, around $9, I want to say 9 or 10 So they're on the pricier side, but if you get them on a sale, that helps. And they're really nice. I like the pink one. I have natural. I like that one too. I wear that one with mauve. Mauve is very pigmented, so I have to use a light hand with that one. But these are really good. I like them a lot. And then finally, I grabbed my Physicians Formula Happy Booster Blush. I have this blush in several different shades and love them all, but this is just the one that I grabbed because I do wear this one a lot. This is pink. I mean, just the packaging alone is so cute. That pink with the hearts, love it. Um, these are just really, really good. I also wear natural a lot. So I would say pink and natural are the ones that I wear the most. This one is just kind of a nice glowy pink. That one is just kind of a natural color. It, you know, it, the other one is one that just kind of goes with any look, but this one's really fun for spring. These just wear really well. They do have a nice scent. I'm not even sure what they're supposed to smell like, but they smell nice. They look cute in the packaging. They apply easily and they wear really well. Great blushes. Okay, on to eye products. I didn't grab my favorite primer, but that would be the Wet n Wild Fergie Eyeshadow Primer. I love that. But as far as bases go, I love the Maybelline Color Tattoos. I wear these a lot. This is one that I grab for a lot. This one is Bold Gold, and it's just a really nice gold shade, and I wear it a ton. I try to grab shades that, you know, I just, I use the most often. I use the color tattoos like every single day, but this is a shade that I use the most often. So it's a nice gold shade, kind of an antique -y sort of a gold. And some people wear the color tattoos by themselves, but I really don't. Um, the times that I tried to do that, they creased on me um, eventually. They lasted really well, but they eventually creased. So I've just found that wearing them with a primer um, works better. So I don't mind the extra step of a primer, so I always do that. But the color tattoos are great. Next time favorite would be my Physicians Formula Quad in Canyon Classics. I like all of these quads. I think there's three of them. Um, that's all that I have. I have three of them. And they're just great matte shadows from the drugstore. That's why I love these. They just, they're great for blending. It's kind of hard to find matte shades for blending in the drugstore. And these are great. They just are very pigmented and they blend really well. So that's the point and the, the goal of a, a nice blending shade. And, um, you know, they're not like, well, they're, as far as matte shadows, they're pretty pigmented and they work really well. So, um, like I said, this is my favorite quad, but I do own, I think the other one is Classic Classic Nudes and Quartz Quartet or something like that. And I like those, but I wear this one by far the most. And the final eyeshadows I grabbed are the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. I really love these. Two of the shades that I grabbed, this is Ice Latte and this is Bronzed Taupe. These are the ones that I wear the most. Um, Ice Latte I wear with other looks. I mean, I have worn this one on my lid by itself, and it's beautiful that way. 
um, but I wear it a lot with other shades just to kind of like as an inner corner highlight or just to kind of jazz up a look a little bit to brighten it up. This one is Bronze Taupe. This is a great, um, Bronze Taupe is just a great one for a one shadow kind of a look. I mean, look at the metallic finish on those. So nice. I love all of the infallibles that I have purchased. Love them all. Um, I don't use them every single day because they are in a pot and that does add an extra step. But if you're looking for great eyeshadows from the drugstore, these are definitely some of them. They're amazing. Such great quality, so pigmented and beautiful. For eyeliners, I grabbed three of them. So starting with the pencil liner, I haven't found a pencil liner from the drugstore that's my tried and true, doesn't budge. Um, I have some high-end ones that I feel like are really, really great. But as far as a drugstore one, I haven't found one that's like, it's not budging, but this one is pretty, pretty good. If I had to pick one from the drugstore to use all the time, especially my waterline, this would be the one that I would grab. And this is the Maybelline Master Drama by iStudio pencil. This one is in Cole Commander, and it's kind of a, um, like a bluish sort of a shade, like a bluish gunmetal or something, but it pretty much looks black on your eyes. So I really like that one. Um, and like I said, as far as drugstore liners go, this one is the best that I've found for me, and I've tried a bunch of them. Like I've tried the Jordana ones that everybody loves, I've tried the NYX ones that everybody loves, and they just, they don't last on me. That one lasts pretty well. Um, and then as far as liquid liners, I'm not gonna swatch these because they're drying out, it wouldn't be impressive. But this is the L'Oreal Infallible Black Buster 8 Hour Liquid Eyeliner. Love this one. It's got a fat tip on it, but I still find that it's easy to make a precise line because it still comes to a point. And it's just easy and a no-brainer. I love gel eyeliner, but I just don't want to mess with that in the mornings. I don't want to have to get out a pot. I don't want to have to get out um, a brush, clean the brush, put the pot away, all that. So I like easy liners. Um, and then this one, this is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner Plus Serum, in, and this is an Ultra Black. I really like this one. Um, these are not budge proof on me, and I say that because um, they last really well, but I do notice that if my eye's watering on this side, which it does, it's gonna smudge a little bit, but not horribly. I feel like as far as eyeliners go, this is really, really good. Both of these are very good and have great lasting power. They do last very, very well. As far as mascaras go, I feel like the drugstore has some great ones. I go through a lot of mascara because I put on a bunch of layers. So I don't want to have to be spending $20 over and over and over to replace my mascara. So I like to find inexpensive ones from the drugstore. And I feel like there are some great ones out there. Uh, so the first ones that I love and have loved for years are the CoverGirl um, Lash Blast line. I love the orange one, not so much a fan of the purple one, but I also love the green one. This is the Clump Crusher. The thing I like about these is I have the problem of mascara getting up on my lid and I don't like waterproof. So I need a mascara that's just gonna really stick and not smudge and I feel like the Lash Blast line is the best for that. They're hard to say though, Lash Blast Clump Crusher, tongue twisters there. And then I also love the Jordana Best Volume Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I really like these together because the Clump Crusher kind of helps separate and it also helps with the lasting power so it's not getting up on my lid. And then this one is just very volumizing. It really gives you like vavoom lashes. The, um, the brush on it is huge, but that really doesn't bother me. Like I find that I can still get it on my eyes without getting it all over my eyelids or anything like that. So I just really love this combo. Um, it's kind of a new favorite combo for me, but the Lash Blast line from CoverGirl, they're great mascaras, especially if you have the smudging problem. I feel like these are some of the best as far as that goes. For lip liners, I have to go with the ones that I use the most often. I also really like the NYX lip liners, but I just don't grab for those as much. But I do grab from my Jordana lip liners a ton. These are the Easy Liner for Lips Retractable Pencils. And I grabbed Silver Lilac, but I want to swatch Tawny for you. I've swatched it a bunch of times. Tawny is one that I just, 
I wear this lip liner all the time. It just goes with so many different things. It's so easy. It's just, it's a good lip liner. I love it. Um, and these are super cheap, like two or three dollars, I think. I get them at Walgreens. They also have a red one that's really nice. I just feel like as far as a lip liner goes, if you're just needing to line your lips and you want the lasting power, um, you don't want it to smudge and smear and bleed and stuff, I feel like these work great and you might as well just get an inexpensive one if it works. For lipsticks, I could have probably listed 15 different lipsticks that I love from the drugstore. I love the Maybelline Color Sensational ones. I love the Revlon uh, Super Lustrous line. So many of them. I mean, I just, I could keep thinking, oh, I love the Revlon Lip Butters yada 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 but I had to grab um, these are the uh, Milani color statement lipsticks I just feel like these are so good because they last really well on my lips um, this one is hot pink rage and I love this one because it's almost it's pretty much a matte and it's just bright and gorgeous this is one of my favorites for spring too just a great formula I've heard people don't like the scent doesn't bother me. Um, it's a sweet smell. I don't like perfumey smells. That's the that's the scent I can't handle. Can't handle perfume. This is more like sweet watermelon candy, fake candy, something plasticky, but still smells nice to me. But I feel like these are such great lipsticks, and they're like five dollars, five or five fifty. So they're one of the most inexpensive from the drugstore, and I feel like they're some of the best. And I also really love, um, I think it's Nude Cream, just a great neutral color to wear, such a great lipstick. And then I definitely had to mention my Revlon ones. I just love these. This is the Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain ones. Love these. This one is in uh, Cherish. Just a really pretty one for spring. Love that. These have a nice minty smell. They last really well on the lips. They're just easy. That's why I definitely had to mention these. Of all my lip products, I grab for my Revlon ones the most, at least in the like pencil type product form. Um, and then these are the matte balms. These are the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms. And this one is showy, and this one is uh, unapologetic. So this is a nice pinky shade. This is kind of a corally red shade. They're just, these are easy. You know, by the time I get to lip products in the mornings, I'm like, I gotta go. <laughs> it's time to get out the door, you know what I mean? So these are just easy, that I can grab them, I don't have to have a lip liner, they just go on easily, they look cute, they last well, easy to throw in my purse. I feel like they're just kind of a easy no-brainer, but still really cute lipstick. And then finally for lip gloss, you guys know what I'm gonna say probably, the NYX Butter Glosses. I just love these, I have them in, a bunch of different colors when they come out with new shades like they did recently. I love those too. I could have picked any color because I love them all. Um, I'm going to tell you about this one because this is the one that I just think is beautiful. This is Strawberry Parfait. The formula on these is so good. The smell of them, so yummy. This is like strawberry candy or cake or something. These don't like last ridiculously long, but I wear them as toppers over lipstick and they just add a beautiful sheen to your lips and they're very comfortable to wear because they're not sticky and gross and goopy. They're just gorgeous. I love how shiny they are and they're inexpensive. That's the point of all this drugstore makeup, inexpensive and good. And these are definitely inexpensive and good. Okay guys, so those are all my drugstore favorites. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. I don't know about you, but I feel like I've just run a marathon. <laughs> I just had so many things to tell you about, and I could have told you about more. I just feel like there are so many gems in the drugstore. I mean, there are definitely some duds and some poopy products for sure, but there are so many good things there too. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely go check out Summer's video and her whole channel. I know you're gonna love her and love the favorites that she picks. I'm excited to go see her video for sure. Um, if you're coming over from Summer's channel, welcome. I hope that you'll stay a while, check out some of my other videos. I would love to have you to my channel. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.